Hey GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Imperial Galactic Survival. This is your host Zlot, and we're here today on the Shadows of Starlight series uh, Alpha 7 episode 4. 4. Let's go with 4. <clears throat> okay, so last episode we smashed the CV uh, looted what we could out of it. It really was sparse. Pretty much it, it was just a combat CV with nothing in it. Um, a little bit disappointing that way, but we did get some stuff out of it. Some, enough stuff to, to put more stuff into the, um, the factory for the starter CV. So we're, we're about halfway on the Neo now, which is, uh, which is huge because that's going to be, our determining factor is the Neo. I, I'll be able to get everything else, and I actually have everything else pretty much. Uh, just the Neo is the one thing. So hopefully we can kill some more drones because they drop those capacitor devices, which have 20 Neo per. So today, oh, and by the way, I made another, I, I worked on the base a little bit more here. Let's, um, I'll just show you. I haven't finished painting and texturing up here yet. What I've done is... Oh, it's dark out. It's dark out. I might have to turn on my night sight just so that you guys can see. But, so I put another level, just a smaller upper level. Not, not the full length. Didn't really need it. I, I wanted to park my SV somewhere where it wasn't in the way of my uh, HV and vice versa, so I didn't have to leapfrog over each other, so that was the solution, I just put a landing bay, a, a covered landing bay, a, well, sealed landing bay. I also moved the turret, because now that the uh, upper hangar bay was higher than what that turret was, it had a blind spot, so I moved the turret up to here, and I also so you can see that pretty much the command module is sealed in now. So I haven't, I still haven't figured really out what to do with in this section. It's going to be pretty much storage. I added a door there just so if I'm out and about. Uh, textured and painted a little bit. That was some random glitch on the texturing because I some of these blocks are actually combat steel and steel from popping them off the command module and just using them to, to rebuild with. Uh, and so when I was doing mass texturing, uh, sometimes it would bleed over onto the um, steel plates and it got this random pattern on it. And I was like, huh, you know what? I'm going to leave it because I kind of like it. <laughs> so I was, I was contemplating doing that to the whole thing as a random pattern like that. <clears throat> but... I also added a substantial pad of concrete out here. So hopefully this is going to be big enough to spawn the starter CV. We'll see when we have enough mats to do that. So there we go. There's the base updated a little bit more. Uh, it still needs exterior paint and texturing. I mean, I, I can do all that off camera, but I think today what we're going to do is we're going to go look, we're going to take the bug eye bus out. And so I've, I've repaired some of the, well, I've repaired all the damage and except for stuff I couldn't get to inside. And that's going to require me to either pop blocks off to get to them or find a repair bay. <clears throat> I currently don't have one right now. So, uh, we're just going to let the interior stuff be damaged. Other than that, uh, it's pretty much in ship shape again. I just got to retexture and paint and I can do that later. So I, I lost a few blocks and I also added a bunch of these blocks I upgraded to hardened steel. So they shouldn't be so um, susceptible to getting one shot off now. So let's jump in. I also got a bunch of uh, stuff on me here. Let's get that all sorted. So 
that's all full good we're fit to fill all that puts us up to 4200 and 9500 or 90 950 missiles <clears throat> okay so that should be good for now let's put the we've got some food let's put that in the fridge and we'll just eat one for right now okay good we're good we got oxygen we got fuel we've got ammo we've, we're all good to go uh, we've got multi-tool charges and drill charges we've got what medical stuff we have which is pretty minimal that's still kind of disappointing but not much I can do about it I need credits I guess I could I could go do the factory right away and get those 10,000 credits and then be able to buy some grow plots and um, and get my garden going buy some sprouts and grow plots but I think we'll try looting some POIs to tell you the truth let's take a look at what there is so I mean yeah I know everyone's itching for me to go to the Promethean factory I know I know power station fuel depot Promethean refinery power station is probably if it's the same one that I know of then we'll do that one because there's a little trick to them so that's over this way crossing the line okay I'm gonna switch to night vision just for now and I'll just turn my lights completely off <coughs> So it should be just over here, over here, right? Where was that again? And down, yes. So south, straight south. Okay. Follow this ridge. Now that the CV has been taken out, at least I'm assuming that it doesn't regenerate. If it does, then that'll be a big surprise to me, <laughs> and uh, that could ruin our whole day, but we'll see. Okay, so the power, there it is. Oh, that's a new, oh, that's a, that's one I do not recognize. Let's turn the lights off here, or the uh, night vision, so that we can see what it looks like at night. And let's. Okay, so power station. God, it looks like a big. POI also. Okay, so I'm not sure. Are those the turrets there? 350. Come on. Oh, there they are. Okay. So let's get over this way. And. Oh, there's four of them. Bob and weave, bob and weave, bob and weave, bob and weave, bob and weave. Okay. And bob and weave, bob and weave. There we go. Did I take out any of them? No. That's kind of sad and pathetic. Or did I take out that one? Okay, I took out one. Let's do a charge in now. And, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Come on, go over here. Whoa, yeah, yeah, I see you there. I see you. It's not fair that they have such an extreme better range than me. 
Oh, 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 I'm getting crossfire. <laughs> Whoa. No crossfire allowed. Okay, I got rid of him. Come on. Whoa, right in the face. <laughs> Serious? Oh, I'm out of range. That's why. There we go. Oh, no. Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah, no. Oh, my gosh. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. Uh, I think he took out my light. Yeah, he took out my light. Okay. So... That's the big turrets on the power station. What I want to check for is sentry guns now. And potential spawners. That I can take out. Oh, is that a spawner? That looks like a spawner there. No, or is that just texture? Oh, no, it's a spawner. Okay. Okay. So let's take out all these spawners. seems massive to me. I've never seen this POI before. I don't really know what I'm up against. Uh, do I chance looting a drone? after shooting it, or do I go for the... Let's go to the side here, see if anything shoots at me. No, there's nothing shooting at me. Now, are those like it's fuel tanks? No, they wouldn't do something stupid like that, would they? I'm going to get shot at by this drone be beside me here. Get a little too low, but okay, interesting. I don't see any guns. Okay, so let's kill this guy, we'll get the troop transport see what happens if we go down, if any sentry guns shoot at us, right? We'll get close enough. And... Okay, sweet. So there's no sentry guns. That can shoot from here. <laughs> Let's clarify that. Uh, the troop transport... Should only take a second, but I betcha I could jump out. Now, you know what? Let's not risk it. I know I really want to kill the drone, but I don't want... Now, which way? Because I crossed the line. Is he going to go all the way around the planet to get here? I'm not sure how that seam works for the AI. If the AI ignores it and and it's seamless for the AI, or if it's... I have a feeling it's gonna... go around the entire planet to get to me. So let's just quickly... loot this. Pop 
pop out for a second here. Come on. And come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay. And we'll just wait for the... Wait for the troop transport. Some time he might get here. See, now I'm, I'm thinking that's what he does, is he'll fly around the entire planet because I'm across the seam. That really sucks. Oh, no, here he comes. Okay. Where is it? Is it? Mm, no, that was just another drone for that POI over there. Okay, let's get out of the night vision. <sighs> okay, so which direction would he be coming then? The opposite direction of the drone base. So if my base is there, the Promethean deposits there. So that means he's going to come from there? I'm guessing. Come on. Okay, well while we wait, while we wait, let's let's lower ourselves down a bit and Turn my lights on, take a look at this place. So those are the generators there, but those are good generators that I want. Those will add Neo to a factory, so yeah, I don't want to destroy those. <sighs> I don't know where the core is on this POI. I've got a crap ton of missiles I could just unload into it straight down and try boring down or we could go for let's see so it's got one elevator up through the middle by the look of it I could smash that out take the drone in that's not a bad idea Okay, come on. Come on, troop transport. I'm thinking it's going to come in that direction, opposite of the direction of the drone factory, because I crossed the scene. And it's taking so long. And I'm thinking it's traveling across the planet around the other way. <laughs> uh... Okay, let's just... I know I don't really want to destroy any loot though, do I? So... Hmm. Do I like hammer away at the bottom? And see if it's in, at the bottom? because it looks like you got to go up and then down into it, right? It's kind of what it seems like. So that's a lot of metal to punch through though. And I don't want to destroy the generators. There's stuff inside there. Because I blew something up. I heard it. I'm, I'm damaging. It's not invincible. Okay. Okay, so let's 
lower ourselves here. So there is just loot containers in there. Okay. Really? Or is that the core right there? That's the core right there. <laughs> okay. Let's do let's do this. Nice. So yeah. That's what I figured. So whatever spawned in there, we'll just leave. So right now, what we can do is Ugh, I need that troop transport. Where where is it? Like seriously. I don't want to deal with a troop transport. I seriously do not. Come on. Let's, um... Hmm, I don't know what to do about that other drone, though. Do I punch a hole through the top and try and kill it from there? Or maybe I'll multi -to Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll multi-tool it until I can see it. Okay. So let's... Now, if, if the troop transport triggered when I was over there shooting, he'll go to where I was and drop guys off usually, right? So if he's over there, if I come over to this side, it shouldn't be... It shouldn't really be an issue. So... Oh, there he is there. Oh, wow. Um, he came from the direction I did not anticipate. Come on. Come on. Come on. Thank you. guy up. Okay. So now we've got some some goodies here. We can try and uh, we'll take out all the generators for sure. I think what I should do though I think I want to put my own core in. And, oh, because I hear guys inside, there's probably, like, sentry guns. Let's see, do I have enough stuff on me that I've looted to make a core? Let's see. Do I? No. More computers, optical fiber. Okay. Okay. You know what? That's worth running back, making a core, and coming back for. Because... I'm gonna try a little trick. And that's the wrong way. Oh, see? So... Okay, I... Right, because... That's why it came... Okay. I'm just derping. It did cross over the entire planet, see? To get to me. I was just facing the wrong direction. So, I've got to go north, west, northwest. Okay, so now that the core is popped on that thing, I'm going to be able to get a whole bunch of gear out of it. I'm hoping... I'm hoping I didn't destroy too many loot containers. I know I destroyed one down there and I'm pretty much just going to despawn whatever it drops, so... Uh, what am I doing? Did I not cross the threshold yet? I didn't cross the threshold yet. Okay. Northwest. Come on. 
really snowing heavy, so it's hard to see. No, oh, it's just beside us. There's the threshold. There we go. Okay. Let's just we'll just quickly quickly make a core. I don't know why I didn't bring a core with me. I usually I usually like to have cores on me. Especially when I'm going to loot a POI. I don't know why I didn't. Okay, let's just land here really quick. Jump out. I'll just <laughs> drone it up and go into here. Constructor, that's constructor. We'll just make a core really quick here. Many voltage charge is doing that, quite a few. I don't have the, yeah, I don't have the, uh, I should have hung on to a flux coil and oscillator. Oh, well. Okay. Let's head back over. So hopefully I can do this to all the POIs on the planet and, and just completely whittle them down to nothing and uh, get everything I can out of them. I can't see why not. This is a good start. So let's let's see let's see what we can do here. So that's a it's a massive, massive POI. It's got a whole. It's got. Is that? Oh no. Okay. Okay. So let's level off here. Now, I guess I could. I could probably like land, right? release the drone from the top or we'll take all let's let's get what we can right here so we'll just go up a bit just in case the troop transport does come and we'll level off go a little closer nothing can spawn now because the uh, core is taken out so we'll jump out and we'll just get our come on Get our drone going. Switch to our multi-tool. Let's take a look what we got in here. And so what we want to do first is get the core placed. So let's get this core placed. We'll just stick it here is fine. I don't care. And there we go. It's mine. Okay. I'll take the, actually right now I'm going to deconstruct, I don't necessarily need the sathium, but the hardened steel plates would come in handy, I think, or the, I, the blocks not so much, but the plates, yes, right now, okay, so, let's take a look at what we've got here, do we have any sentry guns, yes we do, so let's, can we actually jump in one from... No, we can't. Okay. So, I think what I'm going to do 
is... I think we're going to call it here for the episode, and we are going to pick up right here on the next episode. And uh, I'm going to show you how to loot up this place, and because we own it now, uh, I'm going to show you how we can like try and spy on stuff if there's if there's any more sentry guns that we can jump into. So uh, I'll probably be. I could even use this as a base if I wanted to, but it's that's a little extreme. I don't think I need to. I've got mine set up now. So, okay, guys, if you like this episode, like and subscribe. Next episode, we will loot this up and see what we get. Until then, have a good one.